arriving in Moscow apparently ready to fire the starting gun in what could turn out to be a new arms race. The US National Security Advisor and Russian Foreign Minister are all smiles, but John Bolton on the left is here to deliver unpalatable news that a long-term nuclear weapons deal is being called off. The president seems to have run out of patience with Russia. Russia has not adhered to the agreement. They should have been done years ago until people come to their senses. We have more money than anybody else by far. We'll build it up until they come to their senses. The US claims to have evidence that Russia has violated the Intermediate Weapons Treaty, a claim strongly denied. The agreement dates back to 1987. When Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev signed it, it helped to usher out the era of the Cold War. The former Russian leader has strongly criticised the move to abandon it. Speaking earlier today, the current leadership also underlined the dangers. We're waiting for the Americans' official explanation, said Foreign Minister Lavrov. We're responsible for global stability and expect the US to share that responsibility. The announcement that the US would pull out of the treaty took arms experts by surprise. Do you believe we're reaching a dangerous moment right now? I think we are at a crisis point. Um, uh, without the INF Treaty, uh, there are no constraints on either the United States or um, Russia fielding uh, large numbers of intermediate range um, ballistic and cruise missiles in the European theater. Although attention is on Russia's military capabilities, many in the Trump administration see China as the real threat and want to be able to keep pace with their closest global rivals. Juliet Bremner, News at 10, Washington.